Hello, welcome back to Fred in the Shed. I hope you're all very well. Now then, on this channel, occasionally, I've shown you these little sort of Mamod and Malesco steam engines, and I've showed them a lot more detail over in Fred in the Shed too. And uh, yeah, some, a lot of people have enjoyed those. The only thing about those models is they tend to be quite expensive. You know, they're, they're, I think they're quite well made for the money, but if it's something that you're not into and you just want to dabble, they are a little bit expensive. So I was looking for something a little bit cheaper that would still sort of give you the kind of, uh, you know, the feeling if of a steam engine, if you like. And uh, yeah, I came up with one of these little Sterling engines. Now I was given one of these a long time ago. I did make a couple of videos on it. I managed to get it running because the person couldn't quite put it together. And I got it running and it was okay. I wasn't overly impressed by it. It was, uh, you know, it was okay. And these little engines you can buy on eBay. This one in particular, I bought this as a do-it-yourself kit just because I like to sort of build them. And this was 20 pounds delivered to the UK. And I am very, very impressed by this engine when I came to sort of build it. One of the things that really impressed me is that with the flywheel here, and the sort of uh, dro the sort of drive wheel. There is uh, two little roller bearings, two proper little ball bearings that are on the, and that makes all the difference to how these things run because obviously they're very sort of low friction. And to actually have roller bearings on the sort of flywheel drive shaft, um, that's better than you, you get with Mamad and Malesco, to be honest. They, they just use sort of like normally sort of brass bearings that you oil. So that was really, really impressive. So I built this from a kit. It came from, let's say, from China. Um, just a quick look there at the instructions. Nice color pictures. Very, very easy to follow. One or two little tiny tricky bits, but it took me about 20 minutes, and that was with video and everything like that. You could probably do it in less than that. Very, very easy to build. And what well, impressively, it actually looks better than the uh, the pictures, the, the casting on the sort of chassis here and the flywheel itself, I think it looks better than the pictures. So I just thought I'd show you this on Fred and Shed too. We're going to start it up. It runs really, really nice. If you want to see this in more detail, you want to see how I built this, there will be, as always with these projects that I do, there is a much longer video that's over on Fred in the Shed too. And I'll leave a link for those of you that are interested to see how this went together. But on this video, we're going to run it. We're running it on uh, just methylated spirits. It has its own little reservoir there with a little wick. So all made out of metal as well. We've got rubber seals. That's, that's quite impressive. So yeah, we're going to run it on methylated sort of spirits and I'm going to sort of show you how it runs. And it really is really, really smooth. So let me just do that. Now, as I say, I'm using meths. You can use something like um, rubbing alcohol or isoprone alcohol, anything that burns without a really sort of sooty flame, especially if you want to use this sort of indoors, but anything that burns with a nice clean sort of flame, you know, more alcohol, <laughs> more alcohol the better. I don't know if you could run it on gin or brandy. I, I wouldn't like to say, but it'd be a waste, wouldn't it, with gin and brandy. So yeah, once you, once you sort of start it up, it takes a little while to warm up. I mean, this is a Stirling engine, so this is kind of like a difference engine. So what's happening here is we're heating up this sort of cylinder here, and this is, this is called the hot cylinder, and then this is the cold cylinder. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna get a vacuum between the two cylinders. So when this, when this has got heated up and the air sort of expands, and it's going to push against the sort of cylinder here. This will create a vacuum in this cylinder and they'll push and pull together and basically you'll get the uh, drive there on the fly. Well, that's how I understand it. I may have got that completely wrong. If you're an expert in these things, yeah, please, you know, please correct me in the comments because as I say, I'm just a guy in a shed, literally. But there we go. So let's turn it around a little bit. So we can sort of see it. So that just takes a little while to heat up and then see if it will start. There we go. Isn't that nice? Starts off really, really slow. It's got a lovely fluid movement. I say, being you know, you've got two, you've got two sort of ball bearing ball bearing races in the uh, the main drive shaft. And there we go. I mean, it's not quite steam, but it's it's actually really nice. I'm so impressed with this. I say it's all metal construction. You've got a brass lining there in the sort of drive piston itself, and it runs really, really smooth. Uh, Twenty pounds, you know. Oh, you've got to put it together yourselves, but so that's part of the fun. So there you go, that's probably getting close to its maximum speed. I've got to keep my finger on it because it's vibrating. 
it's making a bit of a racket. But I am really, really impressed with this model, especially for the price. You know, 20 UK pounds is cheap, and the quality really, really nice. As I say, with bearings there, with sort of uh, brass inserts, it runs really, really nice. I'm really enthusiastic about this. I will link this in the description. I don't know if it's still valid. I've had this sitting around for quite some time before I got around to actually sort of doing it. I, I do apologise for that. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I hope you sort of like this sort of thing. As always, your view time is always welcome on Friday in the Shed. Give us the old thumbs up if you like the video. That helps me. That helps the channel. Maybe consider a sub. That's always appreciated. But I'd like to say, as always, cheers. Thanks for your view time. Stay safe. Look after each other. And, of course, yeah, I'll catch you all on the next one. But bye for now.